guys and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure you guys are liking, commenting, and subscribing, and joining the family because we are on the road to 1K, guys. I know y'all like, oh my God, you're just so excited about this 1K because it's never taken you guys this long to get us to 1K. Like my other channel is almost to 50,000 subscribers. Guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share the videos, and let your friends know about the videos over here on this channel, and how we be getting down over here. We be cooking, we be eating, and we be talking and popping our shit. Cause y'all know that's what we do, because we are the number one team out here. Let's go pop it! Now, let's jump into the video. These TGI fried the mozzarella sticks. I fried them up and went to McDonald's and got me some nuggets. I like the barbecue sauce, the buffalo, and the ranch combination. Well, pretty much the ranch and the buffalo by itself. And the barbecue every now and then when I get tired of the buffalo. So, what we're going to do is jump straight on into this. I do have the mozzarella stick um, marinara sauce that came with it. They recommend that it sits in the hot water. It is warm now. Um, but I'm going to open this a little bit because I don't want it to make a big old mess. So I'm going to put a little bit here. Just a little bit. It is pretty good, guys. I do like it. It is pretty good. Then I have my ranch. I don't like their ranch like that, but it does. It does okay. My barbecue. Everybody know that Pizza Hut is my favorite ranch. Make sure that y'all do put down in the comment section what y'all favorite ranch is. My favorite ranch is the original Pizza Hut ranch that comes with the salad bar that they mix up. Everybody be complaining about it be watery, but it is bursting with flavor. Um, if I can't get that, I'll get probably Hidden Valley or something like that, but I'm kind of getting burnt out on Hidden Valley. It's just getting really tired, guys. Father, we thank you for this food you give us to eat to nourish our bodies. And thank you so much for preparing this food, giving it to me. I'm so grateful for everything you've given me. And I'm so grateful that you are growing my channel. And I'm just so thankful for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now let's dig in. Ooh, the buffalo. The ranch. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. DJ I Friday, my roast sticks are bomb. Mmm. I cooked them perfect too, guys. The cheese is still in there. The cheese not in my roast sticks, we'll cook it. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Let me tell y'all something. I wanted to talk to y'all real quick because y'all know people be inboxing me and stuff like that. But I do need to leave the people anonymous because I be wanting people to feel like they can come talk to me. So I had this girl, she was like, what if your friends don't support you and they don't ever support this, they don't support that. And I'm like, wow, this is the second person that hit me that said something like that. This Arizona watermelon um, 
Juice. So, she's sitting up here like, well, your friends don't support you. Well, well, first of all, let me tell y'all something. And she was like, I asked her and support me with my new business. So she said she asked her friend, and so-called friend, to support her on her nail business or whatever, upcoming nail, nail tag. She said that this so-called friend be supporting everybody's shit. Putting everybody's shit on her page, on her channel. Now, I feel like this. Now, this is my opinion. I'm entitled to it. I feel like if you got to ask your friend to support you. Now, your friend, if this is your friend, your friend know that you, you have a business, okay? Your friend know that you're a YouTuber. Let me just use myself for an example. I'm a YouTuber, right? And I am try an upcoming YouTuber, and I'm trying to get my subscribers up. I'm trying to get my numbers up. I'm trying to get my followers up on social media and everything like that. Now, a real friend know what your projects and your shit is because you didn't told them because that's just what friends talk about, what they're doing. If that's the type of friendship you got. Not only does your friend know you're doing this, they know probably more key than everybody else that don't even have a clue who your ass is know you're doing this, right? I feel like if you have, if I have to ask my friend, oh, can you share my video or can you like my video or can you give me a swipe up or, you know, can you just, you know, post me on your story sometimes. If I feel like I have to ask you for that, I feel like you're not real. You know I'm upcoming. You know I'm trying to grow my channel. Why the fuck aren't you supporting me like you support all these other motherfuckers? Mmm. You and my roasted is up y'all. I just had to come talk with y'all like, i let y'all know, don't worry about it if a motherfucker not supporting you. And you should not have to ask a motherfucker to support you. If they don't support you, they don't need you to ask them. They're just going to come out by like, their heart and say, let me support my friend because my friend is coming up. I know he's trying to come up. If you real like you say you is, you see a motherfucker grinding, you see a motherfucker working, why you not trying to share their shit and they trying to come up? Then I be having bitches and niggas watch my motherfucking Instagram story and my Snap story. You never share shit. You never repost it. You never comment on a video. You never do shit. If I gotta actually support me, I don't even want it. Cause I mean, you ain't wanna support me or see me grow or help me grow, you know, until I asked you. That mean it wasn't genuine. Fuck that. I show all my people love, like my fellow YouTubers, like, I'll talk about it on my channel, you know what I'm saying? I'll be like, oh, they're my people. I just started my Food Reacts channel. Nobody has fucking supported me at all. And that's just what it is. People, I decided to use my life today not for a pity party because I'm not a pity ass motherfucker. I don't need none of them motherfuckers to support me because I started my shit and I was doing internet before half of, the, half of anybody that I've been around thought of doing internet. You know what I'm saying? And this is not directed towards the YouTubers that I've been work that I used to work with. It's not directed towards them because I don't need them to fucking grow me. And I told y'all that many, many, many months ago. You know, it's just the principle that I decided to talk today about how people don't want to support you. Fuck them. You shouldn't have to ask a person to support you. And it's just that simple. 
you know, people inbox me and confide in me and stuff like that. And I just wanted to talk about that today. Like, this girl was really bothered by a motherfucker not supporting her. So I decided to tell y'all today that ain't no motherfucking body supporting me with my new channel. Nobody. Nobody. Not no, no, no quid pro quo. Nobody has literally posted my new food channel on their fucking page. And I don't need them to post it. I don't need them to post it. Because guess what? Guess what? I grew my shit on my own. And I did not need a motherfucker to post anything about me. I can post it on my own. Fuck you posting me on your story. Or on your platform. I don't need you and your pissy platform to grow my strong and solo platform. I can grow it on my motherfucking own. So baby girl, I know you said you watch me and things like that. And I hope you watched over here because I know you are one of my poppy P, one of my good old poppers. But I, if you do fuck with me, you fuck with me over here. Um, on Food Reacts too, because everybody know that is where um, I have been putting most of my time at over on this channel. You know what I'm saying? Just creating and planning different things to come to y'all with on this channel. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all like the ASMRs. I know y'all like the mukbangs. I know y'all like the food hauls, the challenges, um, the cooking videos and things like that. So I really do enjoy that. You know what I'm saying? But I, I understand where baby girl coming from. It can be a hurtful thing, especially if you get your feelings involved. If people get control of your emotions, they can control you, okay? So don't let that run you down into the ground or let you be all up and you have your panties in a bunch because your bestie don't post your accomplishments. I can go on and on about how people didn't show me love. You know what I'm saying? And I can go on and on about how people showed me love. You know what I'm saying? So don't sit and worry about a motherfucker supporting you. Fuck their support. You have your own support. You are your first line of promotion, and you are your first line of support. So I just wanted to let y'all know that. I'm full, y'all. That's good. That Arizona baby is off the chain. That Arizona, uh, their juices, they tease is just so good. Fire. Mm -mm -mm. These motherfuckers be good to the end, baby. Mm, my throat stick. I think they hitting different. So I cooked them in some motherfucking chicken grease. Mm -mm -mm. Bye, man. Oh, it's so good, y'all. But anyway, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. If y'all are not following me on Instagram yet, make sure y'all are following me at official Poppy P. My links are down in the description box below. Make sure y'all are stalking me on social media because I do be posting little shit that y'all don't have a clue about because y'all stay over here on YouTube. But on my Instagram, I post all kinds of stuff. On my Snapchat, it's popping. And I do do things on Facebook as well, you know. But I want you guys to stalk me on all social media because I do communicate with my followers over there. But I hope you guys did like this video. If you did like the video, make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up because I will be back doing more of eating videos back to back. Make sure y'all are subscribing. Make sure y'all do. Make sure y'all do have one of those post notifications because I don't want y'all to miss a beat. I can drop a video in the middle of the night, in the middle of the day, in the middle of your sleep, in the middle of my sleep. A video can come at any time like a thief in the night. So... Until next time, peace.